I was diagnosed with an illness and prescribed painkillers and we started taking the painkillers and then started taking too many painkillers and very quickly it escalated to, to heroin use because it's more accessible and it's actually a lot cheaper than the pills. And from there that took off. I was a full-blown heroin and crack addict and I was very, very close to my family growing up but I isolated myself. I didn't talk to anybody. My mom would drive around Atlantic City begging people to find me. It happened so fast, it's like a snowball effect. Growing up, I guess, you know, the epidemic, the heroin epidemic never really touched me or my family. I come from a good family in a small town and, and you didn't really hear about that stuff. So I, I was never feel, fearful of heroin. And that's something that I should have been, and I should have been taught and should have been aware of. So eventually, all the consequences to my addiction caught up to me. I was in and out of jail. I spent numerous Thanksgivings and Christmases and New Year's in jail. And I was kicking and screaming, but I took drug court. I was actually contemplating going to prison instead of taking drug court because everybody tells you it's this setup and, and it's going to set you up for failure. That's what everyone in active addiction tells you because you don't talk to people who are clean, who have been through the whole process and have actually been successful from it. So I took drug court. I am now a drug court participant. I was sent to Integrity House. It's a six month program, a long term program through drug court. I then went to the halfway house. Um, I got a job in the halfway house the first week I was there. I was at the halfway house for several months and they taught me how to kind of relive again. I eventually got my own apartment, now a manager at my job, going back to school to become a social worker. Got my license back, got a car, kind of trying to do life again.